I think you have to change your pants because you now have unlimited money in your favorite game. Hello everybody, it's me, Game Jacker, and today I'm gonna show you how to use Game Guardian in 2023. For this demonstration, we are gonna give ourselves unlimited money in an Android game to show you how the tool works. Now, what are you gonna need? You're gonna need an Android device. We're using a rootable emulator, link in the description down below, more about it in the end. We are also using a legitimate working version of Game Guardian. Make sure you don't get one of the many fakes out there. Link in the description for the download as well. Now, the first thing you're going to want to check before you start up the actual Game Guardian app is, does your game require the internet or not? The Game Guardian app can only modify data that is stored on your actual physical Android device. It cannot store data that is stored anywhere else. If your game requires the internet, Game Guardian will not be able to give you unlimited money. It may still work, but it won't give you unlimited money on end resources. In that case, what you're gonna wanna do in the case of online games, if your game requires the internet, you're gonna wanna look for other means of cheating. They exist, bots, bonded APKs, and so on. In order to do that, Google HackerBot or Game Hacks go to HackerBot.net, go to download cheats to find legitimate cheats from legitimate sources, legitimate APK mods, and so on. If you use Google to find them, there will be a lot of fakes out there as well. So always beware the fakes. Now, how does Game Guardian work? This is the demonstration. So all you're gonna wanna do is have Game Guardian running on your system. Of course, this will by default require a root. In this case, link in description, we are using an emulator that is easily rootable. Game Guardian can also be run without a root. I'm gonna get into that at the end of the video. Now, how does it work? You run your game. In this case, we're doing this game. It's just a small game where you collect monies by mining the gold. So, as you can see, we have, at the moment, $300 in our account here in this game. What you're gonna to wanna to do is start up Game Guardian and connect it to the actual game that you're trying to jack. Now, how do you do that? As you can see here on the upper left corner, there is the app that you are connected to. You're gonna wanna choose the game that you're trying to modify. In this case, it's called Tiny Miner. Now, what you're gonna do, gonna wanna do next is look at your money value in game. This, in this case, it's 300. Now you're gonna wanna go to Game Guardian and tap the search icon without any other signs, okay? At the very right corner. This all will allow you to search the game app for a exact number. In this case, we're going for 300. It will also allow you to specify a specific type of value. Now that is more complex if you don't know what to do here. Just go for D word, and if that does not work, go down the list and try each and every one of them. All right, I'm going for D word. 300 is the money value. What you're gonna wanna do is search for that value. Now what this will do is it will scan the whole game app memory for memory values that are at the value 300 right now, which should give us our money value. So we have found 600 almost. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is change the value in game and then among that list, refine the value by a value that is now changed to some other number. So um, at the moment it's still 300, so we're gonna refine with 300. We still have 600, so nothing's changed. What we're gonna wanna do is change the money value in game, so by buying some stuff. Now it's at 285. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna enter the new value, so 285, and refine our search. And we are left with exactly one value. Now, in your case, after refining once, you might not have found one value. What you're gonna wanna do in this case is repeat the process. So what you would do is you would change the value again by selling something, buying something, taking damage, leveling up, whatever you do, like collecting XP, whatever value you're trying to cheat, change it, and then scan for the new value. So in this case, we would refine again with 270 and narrow down the list until, until we are ideally left with one value or two or three, at which point we can then start to change the value. To change the value, you simply tap and you change it to whatever. So I'm going for 999999999. Yes. And let's see if it worked. And of course it worked because I knew it would work. <laughs> so. As you can see, we now have near unlimited money in this incredible game with such an easy technique, basically. That's how it works. So again, 
you scan for your value, you refine, so you get a list of all the money value, the, all the potential money values that are at, for example, 300, then you change it in game, you scan this list of the values that were previously at 300 for the new value in order to refine the search, and again and again until you are left with a very small number of values or simply one that corresponds to your money, then you change those values and that is basically how it works. Now, Game Guardian can do a lot more, but this is the kind of cheat that most of you are looking to do in your games. Again, if your game requires the internet, this money value will not be stored on your actual physical Android device. It will be on online servers, which means for any practical purposes, you cannot change it using any client side tools on your Android device. It simply does not work. That's not how reality works. In this case, you're going to want to get a bot or a modded APK. And again, for that, if Game Guardian does not work, go to hackerbad.net. Just simply Google game hacks. Go to hackerbad.net. Go to download cheats in order to find legitimate cheats from legitimate providers that are safe and that have provided clean software for many, many years. Highly recommended. Also, check out our beginner's guide if you are not sure exactly what you're doing. And down below, if you want to know how to safely download any of these tools and apps, go to Is Game Hacking Safe or Dangerous? And this will be a big guide on how to check the reputation of any downloads that you download, any modded APKs, how to make sure, to the best of your ability, that you're using legitimate cheats that are clean and safe, are not going to infect your device. Now, I've brushed over it at the beginning. We are using a emulator because it's easy to root and if you can't break your device if you're using an emulator that's highly recommended that you do that too again you can google hackerbot emulator to find the best rootable emulator for android at any particular time right now i'm using this one it's basically a one click root which if something goes wrong <laughs> you simply uninstall the emulator you reinstall it no harm done also recommended that you use a secondary account, especially if you're trying to jack the mobile games for that require the internet, so online games. Also something I've brushed over is you can use Game Guardian without a rooted Android device. So without a root or no root as people like to say. However, you're going to need a virtual space app. So basically what is a virtual space app does it, it's an app that allows you to install other apps within the app. So what you would do is you would install the Virtual Space app and then add Game Guardian and Tiny Miner, which will then give Game Guardian access to Tiny Miner to edit it. It's basically they're the same app at that point. So in order to get those apps, Google Virtual Space app. Now, I personally find it a lot easier to simply run a rootable emulator to do this kind of stuff instead of installing a virtual space app. But you do you, it both works. For online games, um, the virtual space app will simply categorically not work, but for any other kind of game that you're trying to jack, virtual space apps will give you the opportunity to use Game Guardian without a root. Anyways, guys, that's the total guide for Game Guardian. Leave a like down below, please, for the algorithms. Go to hackerbad.net if you're looking to download legitimate cheats and game jacks for your favorite Android games. And I will see you guys next time. Game Jacker out.